Party, the MTA has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on these new subway platform gates to try to tra crack down on fare evaders. So the question, does it make a difference? Our cameras seeing a lot of people today running past the gates. They're skipping their fares for a free ride. News 4's Andrew Siff got a look for this himself. Joining us live there inside from Jamaica, Queens with the MTA's response to. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Natalie, let's be clear about what the MTA says the point of this pilot program was. They wanted wider gates like the ones here. This station, after all, Sutphin Boulevard, is right by JFK Airport. Folks have suitcases. They need to be able to get through a wider gate, and this has actually encouraged them to pay, go through the wider gate, and go on the subway. But the problem is that some of these narrower gates, there have been all too many instances where they remain prone to fare evasion. Watch to the left of your screen, and it's five for the price of one as passengers scurry into the subway behind a single paying customer. We're learning, and I'm learning with our customers. Kumel Arroyo is the MTA's chief accessibility officer and senior advisor to the MTA chairman. I wanted to see how the customers were going to utilize that gate good and bad. One month into the $700,000 pilot program, it's easy to see what still doesn't work. Watch the guy in the backpack scurry behind a paying customer. Now watch this woman put down her big box, which inadvertently opens the sensor gate. But the MTA says don't be fooled. For most riders, these new wider gates are allowing passengers with luggage to more easily pay. We have increased paid ridership at this station by 20%. Among those with easier paid access now, parents with strollers. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but officials acknowledge fair beating has become an epidemic. A special panel found the MTA lost $500 million to fare evaders in 2021, $690 million in 2022, a 38% increase. The panel's main finding, the fiscal losses caused by fare and toll evasion are staggering. We run the risk of having the culture of fare evasion becoming permanently embedded in our community. In recent months, they've tested high-tech solutions like this model. Watch what happens if you try to sneak behind another passenger. A buzzer sounds. The problem? It's not on the market yet. The MTA says if they expand to new gates system-wide, they won't be exactly like these. And we will design the, fair, the gate for New York that combats fare evasion. Back live now, you can see the MTA police keeping a close eye on these new fare gates. Again, this is a pilot program. There are four stations. They have them at Penn Station, at Atlantic Terminal, and Astoria Boulevard, all places where passengers use a lot of luggage. The goal was to get people in more easily. Perhaps it's been a little too easy for even the MTA's texts. We're live in Queens. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. All right, Andrew, thanks for the inside look.